Howdy folks and welcome to another Bluey video. We have a very special one in store for you today, one I've been thinking about and planning for quite some time, but I just need the calendar to quite line up for it because today as this comes out is Mother's Day here in America. And to kind of harken back to almost a year ago now at this point, 11 months ago, the very first Bluey video that I did for the channel was revisiting some older episodes that were all kind of bandit parenting focused and I put it out on Father's Day and it did not very well. It wasn't until I started reacting to newer episodes uh, that were dropping in America that the bluey reactions I was doing kind of really took off and that that bandit one kind of subsequently got a whole bunch more views. Uh, but since then, bluey's been one of the most successful things on my channel, especially with the recent The Sign as well as Ghost Basket and Surprise reactions. And I just wanted to sort of, you know, I say cap off a year of bluey on the channel, but but, you know, like I said, June to May, 11 months. We're still going to call it about a year uh, because we are celebrating uh, the other half of the parenting couple with Chili today on Mother's Day. So I've picked out three episodes that are all revisits uh, that kind of focus on Chili doing parenting stuff. Uh, because, hey, we got to get that balance in there, right? So the three we're going to be watching today are all from season two. Uh, I don't have episode titles handy, but they are Mum School, Sticky Gecko, took me a second and baby race uh, baby race of course being very very highly requested so I'm gonna get to that one today I am gonna cry absolutely uh, and I, I did have Queens originally in place of mum school uh, because I even though it's not necessarily chili focused I just think uh, her doing the kind of peasant voice going oh your majesty is so funny and then at the end when she becomes the queen you know also pretty fitting for what we're going for here today. Uh, but I decided to swap that one out for Mum School, uh, one that I am much less familiar with, actually, uh, just because it is very much more parenting focused. Uh, yeah, this one, you know, it's not gonna be a new one for me, but it's gonna almost be. This is not one that we revisit here at the Tallman household very often. But I digress, uh, we're here to celebrate Chili, one of my favorite mothers in existence. Top three, maybe? My own mother, my wife, who is the mother of our child, uh, as well as now, you know, Chili. So, solid top three right there. Uh, so I'm gonna scooch over into position and uh, say thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you haven't done so yet, make sure you click the like button, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I still do have some new episodes from season three that I have not watched yet. Uh, so I'll be getting around to making those eventually. If you're subscribed to the channel, you'll see when those come out, as well as I will be posting uh, polls in my disc in my community tab of my profile uh, to ask what classic episode you want me to revisit there. So stay tuned for that so you can kind of influence what I watch. If you want to see a particular Bluey episode covered in the future, uh, put it in the in the comments below here as well. Uh, and also in the comments, uh, give me your favorite chili moments from throughout the series. Three episodes is nowhere near enough to cover the greatness that this uh, dog mom uh, imparts into us, uh, but uh, you know, leave your favorite chili moments in the comments. Um, we have Patreon, we have channel memberships. It's not going to matter so much for Bluey, uh, but I have not all, but uh, especially more of the recent Bluey videos uh, available uncut over on Patreon. Uh, so if you want to see the full sleepy time that I did for Christmas or the full the sign, those are available there. Totally optional. I, as always, I just pre you, appreciate you being here just to watch. Uh, but let us get going with Bluey Season 2, Episode 23, Mum School, starting up in 3, 2, 1, go. Here she comes. Mom. Who we don't care about today. <sighs> That's gonna have to do for this one. Thanks, Mom. Where's Greeny? Nice. Good girl for having your bath. Yeah, but she hasn't cleaned her teeth. Ah, uh, you grub. It's your bath time too, Bluey. I, I don't see Greeny here. here. Oh, but I want to play mom school with you. It's a school where you learn to be a mom. Mm. They're my children. If I only, if them. only they had that available. Oh my goodness. There's so many things you just have to learn on your own and just figure out. Oh, Greeny! You're such a pickle. Okay. Okay, so I did want, I did uh, have a little bit of an ulterior motive for swapping to mom school because one of the references that I did not pick up in the sign was when we were kind of panning over through the sky to get back to the lookout for the, the sheepdogs. Uh, we saw Greeny floating in the air and I was like, 
that's a reference to something it's gotta be but i did not remember off the top of my head so thank you to those of you who pointed that out in the comments it made me think you know i should probably revisit this one because i did not remember i'm running the bath no not yet you're the lady who gives me a score for being a good mom oh, not again not again <laughs> oh Ooh, sorry kids oh no Second That's an F. This episode of is called yeah, there's just so many things that oh, okay, nobody tells you that you just kind of figure out on your own. And of course, every child is different, so the timings for everything is just going to be whenever it's right. Oh, very good. Two points. Yep, that is, that is a good thing. Thankfully, my three-year-old still holds our hands in parking lots pretty good. Thankfully, he doesn't bolt off in public. It's not that easy. You can't you can't just drop your child under a cushion and say shh. We do not call people cushion head in this house. Hmm, good mother, eh? No, absolutely not. You've lost all of your points. I think these kids need some exercise. How about everyone yeah, goes? They're all just laying around in the indoor pool. Yeah, come on, you lot. And you know, <laughs> that's. I'm gonna pause right here again just to say real quick. You know, Bluey's trying to do basically doing all this to avoid taking a bath, right? One thing you do learn as time goes on is you got to do whatever you can to get your kid to do what you want, right? Um, I think I've said this in a previous Bluey video, but for taking baths, for brushing teeth, for even going potty sometimes, the best way I've found is to say to my kid, hey, want to race me to the bathroom? Bet you can't beat me. And of course, that gets my kid right up off the couch and just like <laughs> running down the hall. Of course, you got to let them win. You can't beat the kid in a foot race. Uh, no matter what, you cannot do that. But you gotta, you gotta put that competitive spirit into them. Bet you can't beat me because then, of course, they want to. Also, grandma's taking care of Greeny. <laughs> yes, it is. You can't be too passive aggressive with your kids, though. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> Can't do that to your kids. A good idea. Or in the words of Bandit, are we allowed to do that? Greeny, you're old enough to walk by yourself. Greeny finds walking a little tricky. Oh, nonsense. He yeah, it's the whole anti-gravity thing going on. This way. Oh, we're playing Keepy Downy now. Yo, all the abuse that Greeny's taken, how is Greeny still going all this time later? Okay. For the sign. Everyone in the pool. Bluey, you should... Get in with them and show them how to swim, right? Or are you just gonna float up to the roof? Chilly, bluey, greeny. The letters on the... The the colors are the same, too. Yeah. Red for chilly. She's reddish. The other thing... The other thing, just because they're going to go brush teeth now, is, you know, if my kid is standing there on his little stool, like, just messing around, doing whatever, anything except brushing his teeth, I'll say, like, you know, toothbrush, I'll say, all right, say, eee, so I can start brushing, you know, and he'll go, like, mmm, or something like that, and just not give me his teeth, so it's always, all right, I'm just going to start doing mine, and every time that makes him just go, eee, and then that's what I got to do to brush my kid's teeth every night. Oof, yeah, you can't do that. You cannot do that. I didn't say earlier, but my tea's chamomile for this. I think Chili would appreciate that. Yeah, tickling helps too. I think you're still hungry. Come on, you need more food. I'll race you to the kitchen. There we go! The racing technique! I swear I didn't even pick that up from Bluey. I just did not did not remember it. Like I said, I don't remember this one very much. I came up with the race method on my own. Does that put me on the same level as Bandit as a dad? Hi, sweetheart. I think there's a reason you keep floating off, isn't there? It's because helium is lighter than air. Well, you're not old enough to go exploring too far yet. So All the way to the stratosphere. This is a special present for you. 
Aww. Because I love you so much. But for now, this will help you stay down here with us. That's really good, Bluey. Full marks. Aw, oh, Chili's so proud. Hey! I almost said Chili got in. Bluey got in. She's not really scrubbing, though, but you know what? Child is in the bath. That's the hardest part sometimes. And then they all start popping one at a time. Okay. Might want to check on Greeny. Oh, the wind's taking her. Him. I'm sorry I misgendered Greeny. Because he's got a good mom. Ah. And yep, as we saw on the side, Greenie will outlive us all. Failed mom school. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Aww. I'm such a cushion head. Aww. That's okay. We don't say that in this we house. Fail mom school sometimes. And that's true okay. too. We can just start again tomorrow. That's also true as well. Yeah, okay. I mean, that one that one goes pretty much how you'd expect, like being a teaching your kid about being a mom. It does hit all the notes, like, you know, for as, as high up on a pedestal as we keep Chili and Bandit, which I guess this will be a great segue into the next one, Sticky Gecko. Um, we do fail sometimes, uh, you know, like Bandit pulling out his phone just for a second while, you know, Bingo is brushing her teeth and ran off. Uh, you know, we all do a couple things here and there that just, you know, are not correct, are not the right thing to do in the situation. You know, I, in trying to race my kid the other day just to the bathroom, like I said, is is my, my biggest strat right now. Uh, I said so, and I kind of took off first, intending to kind of slow down and wait for him to catch up. Usually if he sees me start to run, he'll get up and start running, but he wasn't quite ready yet. He saw me take a couple steps and he got really sad. We'll try again tomorrow, just as Chili said. But talking about failure, uh, I did want to pick Sticky Gecko because it is, it's an episode unlike we see most of the parenting episodes of Bluey. Uh, I feel like most of the Bluey episodes, you know, even if, you know, Chili or Bandit might have a single moment of not doing the right thing or something like think back to yoga ball i picked that for bandit in the first ever video i did because you know it's when he's just playing with the kids they're playing with the yoga ball but he's inadvertently playing too hard and rough with bingo and she gets sad about it and she has to learn to use her big girl bark to tell him that hurts i don't like it like that and uh so it was a good teaching moment for both the kids and the parents but Sticky Gecko's a little different. Uh, rather than like a single kind of moment of bad decisions, it's just kind of a, a full episode of kind of not great circumstances. And it's it's one that also doesn't get revisited too much in the Tallman household. Uh, but I think it's also a very important one for, for parents uh, and even, you know, children who, you know, might have grown up in a good home, but might have had moments of like, yeah, my parents just totally freaked out one time and it was weird. You know, maybe this helps to understand. But let us start season two, episode 12 of Bluey, Sticky Gecko, starting up in three, two, one, go. Come on, kids, we have to Oh, go. yeah, that contraption. Quick sticks. I'm already oh, triggered. We're meeting Judo at the park. If we don't get a move on, we'll be late. Oh, can we not go just yet? That's yeah, getting kids out the now door, you know, in okay. addition to bath well, and brushing well, teeth, well, can be an absolute minute. nightmare. Is one minute this long? More like this long. Yeah. Have you cleaned your teeth? Yeah. <laughs> Show me. I'm noticing a running theme here with Bingo. When did you clean them? Last night. Okay, go and clean your teeth. Aww. Come on, I'll time you. Ready, set, go! <laughs> yep, and once again, any technique, right? Any method. Bluey hat, bingo teeth. I just need to deliver this. Deliver what? Sticky gecko. Not sticky oh. gecko. The worst hey. game. This episode of Bluey is called Sticky Gecko. You know, my kid recently, he went to a uh, birthday party somewhere and they gave out little swag bags or whatever. And in it was a little sticky. It wasn't a gecko, but it was a little, little creature. I think it was just a ball. I think it was just kind of a ball that had kind of sticky, gooey stuff kind of on it. 
and he wanted me to throw it up on the ceiling like over and over again so i had to make sure to throw it up like over like one of the couches so i could climb up on it and just like get it down uh because that thing would not come down otherwise as we will see as this episode goes on Gecky's not going to come down for another uh, six minutes, give or take some of the credits in other languages. Not a banana. Yeah. At least that is like the appropriate thing. Like, are you okay? Ooh, there's the look. This episode is so stressful to watch, by the way. The banana while she's brushing teeth. Yeah. Okay, let's go. I need you out the door in one minute. You said one minute two minutes ago. Go and get a badge, but hurry up. Sorry. Oh, it hurts just to see. I feel this. You know, we only have the one kid, and it's still one minute. Well done. One minute. That should have been like this, but was more like that. And they're on the wrong feet, aren't they? I'm gonna give him a hand, all right? Louis, can you please grab my hockey stick? I need to get Gecky down. Yeah, you gotta cheat at this point. Got him. No, no. Try again. Look at what I Oh my gosh. It's so stressful. Hockey stick. I couldn't find it. Also, I think the music is modulating. Give me that. I'll use Chattermax. Yo, Chattermax can take some abuse, too. I definitely heard, uh, just to talk about the music, I heard a, a couple times in there it would like modulate up. I don't know if it was a half step or a full step each time, but like just the music kind of is getting, not necessarily getting faster at the time, but kind of like raising pitch kind of gives the illusion that it's progressing, right? So just like the fact that it's like as the tensions are rising, so is the music, which is, it's pretty cool how that was built into the score here. But like, man, just now that I have it paused, just, oh man, this episode, like I said, we only have the one kid getting him out the door. Isn't the worst thing in the world. You know, we just tell him, go grab a monster truck. His current favorite thing. He's usually pretty good about putting his shoes on, or, you know, he's got a pair of Crocs that he can put on pretty easy or his, his socks and shoes, which are pretty simple as well. He, thankfully he's pretty good to get out the door because he, you know, kind of enjoys being in the car, going on car rides, going places, doing stuff. Oh, but man, just watching this episode is just like, oh, it's just painful every moment because it's one of the most frustrating things as a parent is when you tell your kid to do something or ask them to do something and they just don't. They're on the wrong feet, Cal. Are they? I'll start again. Yes, they are. No, you won't. Ow! Now that hurts too. Staying here then. Yeah, and sometimes so, we're not going anywhere. No, we'll just stay here forever. How long is forever? Is it this long? And then of course. Okay. Come on. Oh, no, no. I don't understand. What exactly. Are you now? Okay, okay. Okay. I'm gonna just pause here because like oof, this is we all get frustrated, right? But what feels what might feel cathartic to us to say, okay, guess we're just not going, right? You know, doesn't make sense to a kid. You spent the whole last however long telling us, all right, we got to go. We got to go. This is really important. But um, yeah, to us, it just might feel like, okay, never mind. This is what you want. Apparently, it's confusing to a kid even. And I'm, I really like that they had Bluey say the line, I don't understand because... Chili doesn't even understand, really. When you get frustrated and you kind of act on impulse without really thinking about it and, and you know, once again, making a bad decision uh, in a situation, uh, it just, it can feel like it makes sense at the time, but, you know, at that point, you don't make any more sense than your kid who wants to put on roller skates and eat a banana to go to the park. Um, and it's, it's rough, but it happens. It happens to all of us. The door. It is 
right here. All we need to do is walk out of it. Now I am on Chili's side for that. Because it's not nice to keep people waiting, especially Judo's mum. That's a that's she a good can lesson get a too. Funny if you're not on time. Like funny, haha. -ha. Because you're too busy having fun. In oh, but fact, look at Bingo that's why getting we're it. Going to the park. Judo's been asking for a play date for ages. Because lovely little kids turn into lovely grown-ups. Like Judo's mum. Hmm. She really is lovely, actually. Why? Well, when you were born, she made us lasagnas. five lasagnas. Mm. It meant so much to me. Also, just as Bluey is, is continually asking why, uh, two things here. Uh, number one, my kid is very much in his Y phase. He will not stop asking why to like anything. And I know that's going to continue on for a while. It's how he learns. He's being curious about the world. That's a good thing. And secondly, the, uh, the point she made about Judo's mom making the lasagnas is um, when we had our kid, uh, my local Pokemon Go group actually like pooled together and a bunch of people all brought us meals when we came home from the hospital. And it was it was really nice. Uh, people who, you know, I only really knew when we would meet up at the park to do a raid or something. Uh, all, all of a sudden they were bringing like full spreads to our house and like home cooked meals and all sorts of stuff. And just, just seeing, seeing our tiny, tiny little tiny little guy that we had who was doing nothing but crying sleeping and pooping why because i want you to have a happy life why because i love you but why <laughs> but we know from the sign bluey doesn't want a better life right oh, okay, you win. <laughs> why can't you get out the door i'm just nervous about seeing judo i hear you it's been a long time since you've seen her Aren't they neighbors? Stop! Huh? Oh, oh, oh! Chick, chick, chick! Click! One minute! Is that one minute? Pretty much! <laughs> Kids don't you care about time. no idea what a minute is, do you, sweetheart? And then the best part? It's Judo's mom! She's running late! She's running late! Yep. That wasn't the best part I was talking about. It's... I'm hungry. Ooh, banana. Ooh, banana. It's this right here. The pan up. And then the diving catch. I love it. Yeah, dog. But yeah, it's, I mean, that's, that's one I, I, I absolutely wanted to include just because of, you know, the, the implications that sometimes we just act in ways that, you know, aren't the best and we're just frustrated at times. And I, I also really like that they showed that Bluey had a reason for being so slow to get out the door, that she was just kind of nervous about seeing Judo anyway. And yeah, I kind of get that too. When I have things I don't necessarily want to do, I put them off, I procrastinate, I do other things, you know, because I'm nervous or whatever. Or have you ever just canceled plans just because you all of a sudden just didn't want to go? Like, it sucks, but it's it's valid. If you don't want to do a thing, like what's what's the saying? If it sucks, hit the bricks. Um yeah, uh, that's that, that. That one's always hard to watch, hard to get through. But it's all always also just like, yeah, I feel that. Uh, and speaking of feeling things, oh boy, baby race, the big one of the video today. Uh, I don't even think this one really needs an introduction. Uh, this one is one of the famous tearjerker episodes. I was in Costco a couple months back, and I was just kind of perusing the book section just to see if anything caught my eye. And I see they have little Bluey books there where they've adapted some of the episodes into little books for kids. And I pull, I pull one up. Oh, no, it's Baby Race. And I open it straight to the page where a certain character says a certain line that always makes me cry. And there I was starting to shed tears in the middle of Costco. Not my proudest moment, but, you know, it happened. Uh, but anyway, let's, let's just get on with this one. I've, I've been rambling on some of these. So let's, let's just get right into Bluey Season 2. Episode 47, Baby Race, starting up in three, two, one, go. Hey, no, I don't actually remember in this one if we actually see uh, Wendy making the lasagnas for chili in this one. Because this do be a flashback episode. Mom, am I better at the monkey bars than Bingo? Well, you are two years older than her, Bluey. Yeah. Am I better than Judo? Yeah, well, and this is the one where it is Judo who we're comparing to most of this episode, right? Bluey just 
run your own race. Hmm? What does that mean? Come here. Have I told you the story of when you took your first steps? I'd like oh, to believe no. that this is while they're at the park waiting for Judo to show still up. Still a baby. Mm. Oh, I feel that. Come on, Bluey. Roll over. You learn to roll over really early. Bennett, she rolled over. She rolled over. Bennett's too tired She's to notice. She's not meant to do that for ages. Oh, that's my girl. <laughs> <laughs> Even as a baby, she was abusing Bandit. Yet, sweetheart. Ooh, I was invisible. We That's a good way to think about it. Oh, I've never heard of a baby rolling over that early. Is that chamomile? She's just Chili? special. Oh, she's sitting. She's sitting. Oh, Judo. <laughs> Wendy probably sat her up when no one was looking. Oh, goodness. That's very early to be sitting. Oh, well, also, hi, Snickers. Not a race. But it was a race. It's always a race. You know, seeing the wipes on the little title card right there, I just realized I did not grab tissues. Eventually, you sat up. Bluey, you're sitting. <laughs> you oh, goodness. I just can't keep track of her. She... Wendy did something when no one was looking. Judo bit you again. And just what did you do about this? <laughs> well, I tried my best. I'm going to pause just real quick. Uh, hopefully a really short pause. Uh, I don't know if I've ever said this in any of my Bluey videos. I talk about my kid a lot, but he was he was born about seven weeks early, uh, which I also thought about, well, if, if this was just a normal parenting kind of one, I was thinking about doing early baby because that one messes me up just because I think it's Indy that says, oh, can we pretend that my that the baby came early because my baby sister came early? And the first time I saw that one, like I just started like, bawling because it just made me think of our experience with my kid and oh boy i already feel the tears just thinking about it and i'm i'm in a bad way for this episode folks um but yeah so i said all that to say this that all of our milestones were like kind of cattywampus sort of so to say uh because you know we were kind of on a timetable minus seven weeks because you know he still had a little bit of development to do when he was born and was very very tiny so at least as far as all his growth and everything like that, they had us, you know, think of him minus a bunch of weeks, right? So he, you know, it's it's hard to say whether he was early or late for sitting because he technically was late, but I don't know how late given the how, how he was when he was born. Time is weird, right? How long is a minute like we asked in the last one? But how, how long is seven weeks, right? Um, but uh, hey. As of right now, he is, I think he's above average for speaking and vocabulary and stuff like that, which is really good. Um, real proud of my boy. Proud Papa. Trying not to cry. <laughs> not exactly. Why was I rolling? I you did know. learn to roll over real we quick. You were good at it. The doctor said there was nothing to worry about. Some babies just roll before they crawl. <laughs> I love how she's just perfectly, like, perfectly just like that and just sauce. Aha. Oh, and that's what he sings in, uh, in Sleepy Time. Nine Nine Bottles of Thing on the Wall. You can do it. Crawl to me. Oh, yeah. Doesn't she crawl backwards or something? Oh, she butt scoots. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bum shuffle. Bum shuffle. Bum shuffle. I love how Bluey's so disgusted with herself. <laughs> She's fast, though. Judo was pulling herself up on furniture, which is the step right before walking. Mm -hmm. said there was nothing to worry about. There's nothing to worry Some about. Babies just bum shuffle before they crawl. <laughs> <laughs> I love that that's the, the medical term for it. Did she crawl? Yes. Backwards, right? Backwards. Okay, I missed a step. <laughs> Forgot about the bum shuffle. <laughs> Bandit. Bit of olive oil on those knees will do the trick. Oh, gosh. But how is olive oil gonna help? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> if she can't crawl, she'll have to walk. This isn't legal anymore. <laughs> are we allowed to do that? Wrinkle some grit down too. Oh, where'd that go? <laughs> that was a bad time for a sip. That was really funny. Judo had won the baby race. Yeah. Wow. Look, we were all learning to do things for the first time. You were a little upset with yourself, though, like right? I was doing everything wrong. Aren't you going to mother's group? <sighs> yeah. 
Sorry, I just I just noticed something when he was holding. It'll come into play later in the episode, but as we got little Bluey's point of view there, and she was reaching out for for Chili there with her her kind of hands going, and we'll see at the end why that's important. Hey, Coco's mum came to see me. Hi, Chili. Bella. Oh, hello. I'm so sorry. The house is a mess. And here comes here comes the first instance that destroys me here. Showed me a photo. Are these all your children? Yep. She's got a I lot. Thought Coco was your first. <laughs> She's, hell no. Something you need to know. What? You're doing great. <sighs> we all need to hear that sometimes. <sighs> yeah, Chili need to hear that today, right? Yeah. Happy tears, honey. I'm good. And then well, for now. To run my own race. Well done, Judo. You uh, the girl. So good sportsmanship. Learn to walk? <laughs> yeah, of yes, course. In I the mean, kitchen, just actually. look. <laughs> now I'm just thinking of the sign, too, for this. And there's the shot. Reaching out for her, right? Why did I decide to walk in the kitchen? I don't know, sweetie. Maybe you just saw something you wanted. Ah, that one gets me every time. <sighs> See, most most Bluey episodes that emotionally destroy you, uh, they usually have like just one instance of destruction. <laughs> oh God, look at my eyes. This always happens, man. Like, think of, like, Grandad is, like, the classic example I go to of how just to precision destroy someone's emotions with the whole, like, eh, that was a long time ago. And he said, nah, it was yesterday. And it cuts to, like, Chili now being a kid sitting with her dad there. <sighs> um. <sighs> yeah, so the fact that this episode has two, like, kind of almost back-to-back, -back, the first of all, just the you're doing great. I'm sure that hits a lot harder for uh, parents. I know there's a lot, a lot of people that watch Bluey from all walks of life, uh, but I feel like that one hits especially hard if you have a kid, uh, especially because there are moments, just like in Sticky Gecko, when you feel like you're doing the wrong thing. See, we, we made a little arc with these, I feel like. We, I think we did good today, folks. Uh, but there are moments where you feel like you just can't do anything right or you just mess up completely. Um, I hit my kid with a tennis ball the other week. Uh, we've we bought him a little tennis racket. We've been taking him to a little tennis court, just kind of hitting the ball around a little bit. And I hit I hit the ball very badly, and it hit him in the leg, like right when we got there too, just by complete accident. And I felt like the worst parent in the world. And you know, we could all use a time every now and again where somebody just tells us, or we just think to remember, you're doing great. And so I want to say that to you right now. Whatever you're going through, whether you have a kid, whether you don't, you're doing great. In case you needed to hear that. I hope you did. Oof, I'm a mess. Um, but yeah, and then just also then just at the very end, why did she why did she decide to walk in the kitchen? She must have seen something she wanted. <laughs> and I see something I want to. It's for you to click the like button here for all of these tears. Oh man. Um yeah, it's just a beautiful episode. It's a real good one. There's a reason why uh, when I first started doing these, a lot of people suggested, oh, you got to watch Baby Race, man. So here I am fulfilling my end of the bargain that I don't think I ever made like 11 months ago. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, but man, just what a good episode. That's That's got to be like, if it's not in my top five, it's close to my top five. Uh, but I mentioned I was thinking about the sign because... Number one, there's a moment where Chili says, you took your first steps in that house when she's talking about not wanting to leave. And then secondly, as they're all packed up and leaving, there's a shot of Chili like standing like with her back up to the sink and just kind of looking down at the same spot where Bluey took her first steps. But at, at this point, Bluey isn't there. It's when they're all about to leave. It's like one of the last memories she wanted to have in that house is to, you know, be in that same spot where presumably one of the best moments of her life happened right when her her firstborn took her first steps and oh that just hurts mm. what a good show i love bluey so much and i'm i'm so glad that y'all have been watching these and have been enjoying them and uh, have been making them as successful as they are on my channel just thank y'all so so much like i said 
This doesn't wrap up a full year of Bluey content, but in my brain, it kind of does, you know? Hey, June to May, that's close enough. When you when you start at the start of one and end at the end of the other, that's, you know, we'll call that a full year. Uh, but just, hey, thank you all so, so much for watching. Uh, I think I'm pretty much done here talking. Uh, I gotta go blow my nose. Uh, I got a lot of juice is backed up here in my head as gross as that sounds but uh hey like i said up at the front uh, i still have a couple other bluey videos still to make still a couple episodes in season three that i have not seen uh so keep an eye out for reactions to those whenever i get around to making them it might be for a little bit i've, I've done a lot of bluey recently so i'm gonna probably take a little bit of a break here but make sure you come back whenever i make those but until then take it easy everybody and i'll catch you next time see ya